split off. So what I'll, this is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're going to be replacing the door boot on a Kenmore front-loading washer. So we're going to remove three quarter-inch screws from the back of the washing machine at the top so we can remove the, the uh, top panel. So once you get the screws out, you're just going to lift up a little bit on the back of the top panel and then you should be able to wiggle it out and just put it off to the side. So next we're going to remove the detergent drawer. You have to push down on a little tab to get it out. We're going to use a Torx 15 bit to remove one screw here on the left. And now you should be able to grab this upper control panel and wiggle it out. And we're just going to lift that up and put it, put it out of the way. We're trying to get to the front panel to remove the screws that are holding it in. So it's just a couple screws here they're the quarter inch type. We just spin those out and then we've got a couple of Torx 15 screws that are on the door lock. So open the door, remove those two. Those off. and then put something in underneath so we can remove these bottom screws. I'm using a quarter inch drive to remove the three bottom screws so I can get the bottom panel off. Once I get the bottom panel off, I'll be able to get to the fasteners that are holding on the bottom part of the front panel. It is good to elevate it a little bit so it's easier to get to the screws. So I pulled off the bottom panel and then I just have a couple of more screws I gotta pull. And these also are quarter inch. And now we should be able to just remove the panel by lifting a little bit and then it comes right off. Get that out of the way. Now we're using a Phillips head screw to remove a screw here that holds on a spring clamp that's holding the door boot or door gasket onto the tub. So I get that fully loosened and then I can pull that ring off. Now I can just grab the old boot and pull it off. So what I'll do next is I'll use some lubricant. This, this time we're just using virgin olive oil, but you can use liquid laundry detergent. Anything slippery is going to be great. And this just makes it easier for the rubber gasket to go into the plastic tub. If you don't use a lubricant, it's a lot harder to get it to slip on. Usually just using some liquid laundry detergent works great. So I'm going to make sure this top piece, the one with the triangle, is at the 12 o'clock position. I'm going to push it in under that rim and then I'll keep going back and making sure that it stays on there. Then I'm gonna go over to one o'clock, push that in. I'll go over to two o'clock, push that in. Over to three o'clock, push that in. And I gotta keep going back and making sure that it stays in. On this particular one, uh, the boot is rather small and you have to kind of stretch it out over the tub, which is tricky. I ended up actually using the customer to help me, they held it into position at the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock position while I finished putting it in down at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and then 6 o'clock. But had I not had help, I would have had to use clamps or something to hold it. Other manufacturers, the boot is easier to put on. You don't have to stretch it and you can just do it yourself. This one was a little bit tricky. The rubber is a little bit thicker and seem to be smaller. So I'm just making sure I got it all the way on, all the way around. I'm using my thumbs to push in. The other hand holds it and then I push in my thumbs here at the bottom. There we go. And now we got the we put the ring back on. So we're going to tighten that up with the Phillips head screwdriver. This is the one that holds the 
door gasket onto the tub. And you want to get this pretty tight. So you want to go with your Phillips head screwdriver basically until it's giving you a lot of resistance. So we got that on strong. We don't want that to come off later. Because <clears throat> then you have to do the whole disassembly again to get to it. So we get that, that on tight and I'm just going to tug on it a little bit to make sure it's not going to come off. And now I can put on the front panel. Just re reinstall it. So I got that back on and I'm pushing the boot in now inside the tub just to kind of get it out of the way. Bring the front panel up into position. I have to fit the, on this upper white panel, I have to fit the lip in underneath the silver panel here. I'm putting the quarter inch screws back in to hold it in position. One on each corner. Putting the ones on the bottom. Hold it on. And on the right corner. Now we can clip the control panel back on. So we put in the bottom of it first. Just take your time here. Don't want to break this. So just be gentle. And then once you feel like you have it, you can push it in on the top. It'll click into place. There is one Torx 15 screw here that I'm going to put in on the far left-hand side to hold it in. And I got my, my uh, door lock, door switch back into position. I'm putting in two Torx 15 screws to hold that in. I'm going to grab the gasket and pull it out so the lip, the rubber lip, is out near the front panel. And now I'm going to use my thumbs to get that lip out over the metal lip. And make sure it's really secure all the way around. <clears throat> and then I'll put the spring ring or spring clamp back on. Probably not good to use lubrication on the rubber, but it is good to put lubrication on the metal spring clamp itself. Put it on at the 12 o'clock position, put the spring down at the 6 o'clock position, and then you push down and pull, and you push the spring apart and over the 6 o'clock position. And make sure it's really locked in, can't move. You can get another set of hands to help you if, if you need to. Just double checking everything's in position. Lock the door. Just checking the door function. Make sure the door boots all the way in. I'll put the bottom panel back on. <clears throat> and I'll put those three quarter inch screws back on the bottom panel. This is a panel you can remove too if you ever need to uh, clear the drain. If the drain is, the coin trap is blocked, you can just pull that panel and the coin trap's right there. Also, it's pretty easy to, to take off the motor control board if you need to by removing that bottom panel. All right, so we got a new drip tray there. Got a new gasket. <clears throat> got the three quarter inch screws on. We got to put on the top panel, and then there's just three screws that hold that on on the back, and we're done. So thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe when you get a chance. Our video, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance, and also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money. So thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you. Feel free to contact me at the email listed below which is scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com with any of your questions.